I found a company called Angels Deli and Dessert Bar Limited. The company directors of this company are Thomas Cashburn and Diane Callahan. So Diane Callahan is a company director of Angels and Scally's Parties Limited. Looking into the filings of Angels Deli and Dessert Bar Limited, I found that Thomas Cashman was appointed the company director on the 3rd of June 2021. Up until Olivia Pratt Corbell's murder on the 22nd of August 2022, no other filings were made for the company. But the day after her murder, a first gazette notice for the compulsory strike-off had been filed, meaning that they were going into liquidations. The document on Company's House reads, The register of the companies give notice that, unless cause is shown to the contrary, the company will be struck off the register and dissolved not less than two months from the date shown above. Upon the company's dissolution, all property and rights vested or held in trust for the company are deemed to be Bona Vancantia and will belong to the Crown. So basically, Bona Vancantia means that these are vacant goods, so the property is vacant. Looking further into this, I can see the company claims Thomas Cashman resigned on the 29th of the 6th, 2022. But this wasn't filed until the 27th of the 9th, 2022, 21 days after Thomas Cashman's second arrest. As you can see, they filed numerous filings on that date, including filing assets of £1,006. Another filing by Diane Callahan shows she applied for the company to be struck off, but the next day, on the 28th of September 2022, another filing shows that they applied for the company not to be struck off. The property now belongs to the Crown. It was finally on the 3rd of the 1st, 2023, that the company was officially struck off. So you may be wondering why I'm looking into Company House and what significance it has to do with the case. I think the prosecution could have brought this up and it would have proven that Thomas Cashman was making steps to hide his assets. What a coincidence it was they were trying to dissolve a company that he had access to the day after Olivia Pratt Corbell's murder. What's this company used for money laundering? It doesn't take much of the imagination to believe that. Why wasn't it mentioned in court that he owned a business previously? Did the prosecution not know about this? Because it's public evidence. And I'm quite unsure why they never brought this up. So that's it for today, guys. I know it's something a little bit different and hopefully the press haven't reported on this one. I don't think I've seen this in the news. So what do you think? Do you think it has any relevance to the case or am I just jumping the gun? Let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching.